Slimy Stewarts. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Well, that was when a Stuart bloke called Guy Fawkes tried to blow up the King about 400 years ago. Hello. Fireworks night can be very dangerous. I should know. I'm Roman Catholic revolutionary Guy Fawkes and I'm here to give you a few important safety tips for November the 5th. Bonfire night safety tip number one. Be very careful when transporting 36 barrels of highly explosive gunpowder into a cellar below the Houses of Parliament. Oh, no, no, no smoking. Safety tip number two. Always make sure there are no fellow Catholics in Parliament. You wouldn't want to blow them up, would you? I think I'll write a letter to Lord Monteagle to warn him not to come to Parliament on the 5th. Oh, hang on. Could that jeopardise our plan? Nah, I think it'd be all right. Safety tip number three. When you're going to light 36 barrels of gunpowder, do stand well back. Preferably three miles back so you don't get caught red-handed. Gotcha! I got a tip off from Lord Montego. I don't suppose you'd come back in 12 hours when I've blown up the king, would you? No. Safety tip number four. Do be careful not to get tortured. Give me the names of your co-conspirators. No. Not even that idiot what wrote to Lord Monteagle. Oh, yes, you can have him. Bonfire night safety tip number five. And this is the most important one. Under no circumstances get hung, drawn and quartered. All right, mate. <clears throat> OK, you're over here. It's just in here. It's true. When Lord Monteagle got the letter from Guy Fawkes' mate warning him about the plot, he passed the information straight on to the King's men. He was rewarded with land and money. Presumably, he got a penny for the guy. <laughs> oh, go on, I was pleased with that one. Horrible history.